I just want to say Molly was my best friend and sister that I will never see again. This monster took her from not only I, but all the family and friends that love her. This horrible tragedy caused my mom to go over the edge before she passed away this year. She was diagnosed with severe psychological trauma from Molly's murder. My dad had been taking care of my mom for over two years, dealing with the stress of a murdered daughter and a wife of 50 years that sometimes couldn't recognize him. The stress from that took his life in September of 2020 of a heart attack. The heartache and stress of it all has taken a toll on all of us. Molly had the world in front of her. She was taken from us way too soon. I truly believe if he had have chose to break up with her instead of murder her, I would still have my sister, my mom, and my dad with me. I just ask, plead with the jury to give this monster the max sentence possible. He chose to take her life without mercy, and I ask the jury to not have mercy on him. Thank you. Your Honor, at this time, the state moves for admission and publication of state's exhibits 195 through 200. They are so admitted. May I publish? You may. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what you're about to see are photographs provided by Molly's son, Declan, of the two of them together. Beginning with Declan himself. A letter from Declan. Today I was asked to write this letter and I wasn't sure what to say until now. You took one of the most important people in my life away from me. She was an amazing, smart, and beautiful person. And sure, she wasn't a perfect person, but nobody is perfect. And she wasn't a perfect mom, but being a mom isn't about being perfect. It's about making good decisions for your child, and that's what she did. And I believe she only ever made one real wrong decision, which was believing in and trusting you. And you just kept lying to everyone around you. The only reason she believed you was because she loved you and looked past your flaws and was probably willing to walk to the end of the earth for you. And you couldn't be a little bit honest with her or anyone for that matter. That means you are the kind of man who is a coward, who has no regrets about his past actions, and you are willing to move on to the next person like they are just an object. And my mother was no object. She was more important to me than you can ever imagine. And I was more important to her than you ever were. So in a way, you took something from both of us. You took away my mom from me. You took away her son from her. Here's the bottom line. 
You now have to face the consequences of your actions. And I hope you now have to face them every day of your life. From Declan. Your Honor, that concludes the state's presentation of evidence. Thank you.